Uh, let's talk about Friday night at the MCG. This was Collingwood and Melbourne, and this was a dead rubber in every sense. It was, TJ. 275 uncontested possessions for Collingwood. It was bruise free sort of stuff for, for Melbourne, and Nick Dacos was the one who potentially won his first Brownlow medal with this performance. Now, now, this could have been my volcano. I don't know how much notice to take of social media, but I'm starting to see a fair amount of criticism for Nick Dacos from jealous supporter groups that don't follow Collingwood. Oh, who cares what they think, I, I, so I'm just, I'm just wanna, I just want to put that out there. If you are critical of this player, all you are is jealous. So we just spoke about Dustin Martin. We're going to miss him. Let's enjoy what this guy's doing. Now, is he the perfect footballer? Does he really attack the footy Close to it. every time? May, maybe Why not. You but we're, what we're, we need to get on social, social media. media. Yeah. Asking the question, I'm seeing a lot of criticism of Nick Davis hey, from jealous I've got that some, the jealous Kane, supporters. I've got some breaking no, but, news. No, TJ. People on social media criticise. No, I understand you. that. But, but I, yeah, I get that. But I, I do do talk about radio a lot. I see the text message come through on the radio machine. I see callers ringing up. Nick Dacos this, Nick Dacos that. All you are is jealous. He, you're right. He's near on the perfect footballer at 21 years of age. What he's done this year has been extraordinary. He's as good a first three years as we've seen from anyone. And if he wins the Brownlow medal, I'm going to celebrate it like we should. Splash the, some for, more of Peter's cologne, The maybe. remarkable <laughs> season that it's been. And uh, he would be a, a worthy winner. Yep. Now, the Cozzy picket bump that was uh, the storyline out of the game, too, on Darcy Moore. I, I've got a view of this that Darcy contributed this. Now, as harsh as that sounds, because he was subbed out of the game for a concussion moment, but Darcy Moore has chosen to take the legs of Cozzy Pickett there. Now, I'm not saying Pickett shouldn't get a sanction, but the three weeks that has been attached to that infringement there at the moment and a requirement to go to the tribunal, I just feel it's a little bit overs in that moment. And I get the need to take out that head type of contact, but I look at it in that split second moment and not slow down. Darcy Moore contributed to it in a, in a form. Yeah, being there on the night, I thought he'd get a week for it straight away. Yeah. But once Darcy was ruled out of the game straight away, I thought three weeks. If we could just watch it one more time, because he's got to pick up that ball, mm. Damo. So, yes, he's lost his feet there, Darcy Moore. But I'm not sure what Pickett's trying to do either. That, that's not an action uh, that you can get away with. So go for the ball. Yeah, go for the ball and yeah. that doesn't happen. Yep. Yep. What would you make of the Demons, Nath? Well, they were so good last week against the Gold Coast Suns. I was expecting a really good finish to the season, but it was pretty ordinary. I think they checked out. Nick Dacos, you wonder how he had 40 disposals. Here he is, started half forward. Salem was half back, and this is the effort they put in. Have a look at Ed Allen here. He's on the show later. Just stepped through three or four tackles. Now, I told you Salem was on Nick Dacos. So here's Christian Salem, and here's Nick Dacos. So you'd have to pick him up at some point. The best player in the competition. Nah, I'm just going to let him run straight past me and then wonder why he had 40 disposals. He missed this goal, but the writing on the wall. Here he is again, on his own, inside forward 50 at a stoppage. He gets this ball out to his brother. He doesn't kick a goal, but the writing's on the wall already. Melbourne are really off in this game. Have a look at this. Max Gorn is here. You've got a, a host of players. You're probably hoping that Tom McDonald's going to go third man up. Goes into the pocket and Tom McDonald's is standing there doing nothing and his opponent takes an easy mark. So you wonder how this thing happens. And then this is late. This is just four tackles that are broken to give Ed Allen his first goal. I mean, that is pretty soft stuff from the Demons. And there was only one side that turned up the play and that was the Pies. And Ed Allen will join us on the handball a little later That's on. That's what I said. Did you say that, did you? Mm. Did he say that? Yeah, he did. Yeah. Oh, right. I just wanted to reinforce the fact Ed Allen will join us on the handball. Who? Ed Allen <laughs> will join us on the handball a little later on. Hey, uh, I know that, you know, as uh, eight teams focus on September, uh, the rest will actually focus on 2025. So Craig McRae has already come out saying, look, we need a key forward. What do Melbourne need? Uh, well, you can have a poor season, but when there's a smell coming out of the club like Melbourne... No, that's the cologne. That the cologne. Uh, they're, they're, this is a dirtier smell than, uh, I think, <laughs> than Peter Dacos' smell. This is a smell I haven't liked for a while. And you look at it, let's take a look at Melbourne. And I think it's it's not around you know, getting them back to their best. You wonder, are they right for a still? So you have to look at, has, did our culture let these guys down or are they the problem? Uh, uh, so you've got to wait. Do you lock them both in uh, to stay? Uh, I would move on Oliver if I could because I I've lost a bit of trust in him from yep. the outside. Petrarca, I would back in for the year. But I would also give him a talking to and say, Christian, mate, yes, you've, well, I've had the same injury as Christian. Yes, so, but it didn't affect me. I know everyone gets affected differently, but he's got to also go, OK, I've had my beef with the club. They're not letting me go. I've got to get on with it. So I think they have to have the hard conversation with him. Simon Goodwin's game style has had the same game style for four years. He needs to evolve, and if he doesn't evolve, they have to challenge him hard, the board, to say, are you the right man to take it? Sell to us why we should go ahead with you next year. Are you year. convinced he is? I'm not sure he's, he has 
the nous at the moment to go ahead. Because so is there a decision in your eyes to be made about I him? I would consider, yes, whether really? Simon's right. Uh, I'm sure they'll go with him, but that's my opinion. Key forward? A key forward, yes. They, they, uh, yep. I don't, but their ball movement doesn't allow for forwards to thrive. And then also, I think, yeah, the challenge be laid down to these three men, Pert, Richardson and Goodwin, on where the club has been. So you would like a change of coach at Melbourne round one next year? Uh, well, if he can't sell to them, the plan of where the game has evolved to, yes, I've been stuck in a certain way. We've got knocked out in the finals. I thought we could go again, but we've been found out. He needs to sell, I think, some hope and belief for what something's going to change to keep his job.